four, five, six. Look in front of you, seven, eight, nine, ten. Your knees should never go over your toes when you squat down. Thirteen. Last one, fourteen. Great job. Now let's go back on the floor. We're going to do our plank. Again, I showed you yesterday how you can do a plank. And you can always do it on your hands or on your elbows or alternate between them. You can also do them on your knees like this. Make sure your abs are tight, butt is tight, and you hold it. So let's get started with 45 seconds to the plank. I'm going to do it on my hands, and let's go. So, make sure your shoulder and wrist are aligned, even if you're on your knees. Your abs should be tight. You should be breathing. You should be looking ahead, about five, six inches ahead, and your butt should be about... Um, at the same height as your shoulders. So, if you can't hold it for 30 seconds, that's okay. Just go down and rest, and then join back in after your rest. I want you to do as, um, I want you to do this as long as you can. Down. We're finished. But for planking, if you can't hold it that long, I just want you to do as long as you can, and don't worry about it because you'll work up to being stronger when doing them, okay? Don't give up if you're doing planks. Just continue to do them. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and lay on our back. We're doing crunches. Ten crunches. So this right here is the Tammy challenge. We're going to lay on our backs. And today... I want you to um, bring your legs up like this. Don't let your feet touch the ground. Hands behind the head. We're doing 10 crunches. Again, pretend like there is a tennis ball between your chin and your neck, uh, between your chin and your chest. And breathe out when you go up. Let's go. One, two, three. Your lower back should be on the floor. Six. Seven, eight, breathe out, 10. Great job. Next, for this challenge are also push-ups. We're doing 10 push-ups. And again, I'm gonna do my arms wide just so you can see what that looks like. So my hands are wide this time. Remember this works your upper back more than your triceps. As you're tight, you can do this on your knees. Here we go. One, breathe out. Three, abs are tight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. Next are our side crunches or our oblique crunches. Today we're going to take our legs, put them in the air like this. One leg is straight, like on a diagonal. Take this arm, put it behind your head. This one goes behind your head as well. We're gonna take, I'm gonna go opposite elbow to opposite knee. So the one that's bent. So I'm gonna do this and then switch legs. We're doing that for 10. So let's go. Let's go now. One, two, Three, remember to breathe as you turn. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The key to this exercise also is to make sure your shoulders come up off the ground when you're twisting. For this challenge, now we're going to stand up. We're doing... 10 squats, and then we're going to do 10 jumping jacks. So here we go. I'm going to face this way this time. 
Again, with your squats, if you can't go down low, just go as low as you can. The key also is in squeezing when you stand up. So let's do our 10. Let's go. One, two, make sure you breathe out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sit back. Nine, ten. Great job. Now it's time for our jumping jacks. I show you an alternative first and then the full jumping jack. So let's get started. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! We finished day three. So I, I can't wait till tomorrow. You join me for day four. Also, follow me on Twitter um, at LBX Fitness. You can follow me on Facebook at shivy.williams. Also, you can join my group, which is LBX Fitness as well, or on Pinterest at LBX Fitness. So I'll see everybody tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Keep pushing on. Things are done.